Hey everybody, hey, what's up everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people, coming to you live, House of X Entertainment presents, it's me, Watson, yes, honey, coming to you now live, what's up Twitter family, what's up YouTube family, what's up Facebook family, and my Instagram peoples, what you guys doing out there, it's me, Watson, yes, honey, it's now live. Hey everybody, hey, what's up everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people, coming to you live, House of X Entertainment presents, it's me, Watson, yes, honey, coming to you now live, what's up Twitter family, what's up YouTube family, what's up, hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of Cook With Me, guys, yes, cook with it's me wants then yes guys so today we are going to be making some blue snapper guys jamaican fried blue snapper okay guys yes we're going to be making some jamaican fried blue snapper some jamaican fried blue snapper hold on one moment guys in a second okay so we're going to be making some Jamaican fried blue snapper all right so as you can see it's already in the pot it's um, I have my fish washing so make sure that you wash it guys I deboned um, two of them because Leo does not eat fish with bone so I deboned them. So you can take the bone out the middle. Of course, there's going to be a little bone right here, as you guys can see. So however, um, that's okay. So I left the bone in for mine. All right. I left the bone in for mine. So what we're going to do is we're going to drain off this water. We're going to drain off that water. All right. Okay, and after we have done that, after we have, after we have done that, in a moment. Okay, after we have done that, guys, then we're going to season our fish. We're going to season our fish. All right. Um, so what we're going to use is some paprika. All right. Then, of course, you're going to get your obey seasoning. Now, only just a little bit of your obey seasoning. Just a little bit. All right. Just a little bit of your obey seasoning. So that it doesn't come out too salty. Just a little. Okay. Now that's good. You don't need nothing else. Um, but the old base seasoning. Um, you can put your paprika back. You're gonna need your um your adobo because we are making rice, guys. I was gonna do some mashed potatoes, but it's too late for that, child. So, um, after we do this, now you're going to mix them. Make sure you dry rub them. You dry rub them so that I can get all into the creases of the fish. All right. Dry rub them. Okay. After you do that, now we're going to wash our hands. All right. Now, remember like the last video, guys, that we did? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to make sure that there's no echo. I'm trying to make sure there's no echo, y'all. The life of a content creator. Okay. So, um, so basically, 
what we're going to do. This is seasoned. We're gonna do our rice. Get everything off. Hold on. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do our rice now. Remember I told you guys that um, this is a cup enough for a serving of, um, of rice, so you don't need a lot, just a cup enough for a serving. Just a cup enough for a serving, guys. That amount is good, all right? For serving, depending if you have maybe four people or five can, can serve for that. So we're gonna put our rice in here, all right? And then we're gonna wash it. Just a little bit of water, mix it around. The reason why we're doing our rice now, we're um, washing it and putting it on now because fish, um, they cook fast. So you don't want to make your fish early, make your fish early guys, and then it gets cold. So you always wanna make your fish last. Okay, after you wash it, then let's put our fish in the sink. You want to season your rice with some adobo seasoning. All right. And of course, we have our cooking base. Okay. All right. And then just one teaspoon of that is fine. Okay. Then um, we're going to put some water. About that amount of water in your pot is good. Okay, and then you turn your fire on a medium heat. Hold on, we'll put a little bit of butter, guys, because we don't need a lot. Okay. And then you mix it. You mix it. All right. You can also cover it as well. So while your rice is bubbling, um, cooking and simmering for just a little bit, we're gonna work on our vegetables. Okay, so I'm doing some frozen broccoli. Some frozen broccoli. I think it's seasoning, that's in my nose. Oh my gosh. Okay. Vegetable. It has um, corn, peas, and carrots in it. So I'm gonna add that in there because we're going a little bit in this bag. So I'm gonna add that, and then we're gonna put a little bit of water in the pot. We can add our adobo seasoning. Okay. All right. And then put it on your fire to a medium heat. And let's get our spoon here. Let me watch out this spoon. Hold on a second. All right. And we're gonna add a little bit of butter in there. Okay, so now we can put away our butter and everything because our rice is cooking, our veggies is cooking, it's simmering. All right, guys, so now that's done, make sure you clean as you go if you make a mess. All right, so let's put away our veggies and our butter. One second. Okay, guys. So what we're gonna need to um for our fish, 
if you guys check out the last video that I did with the kingfish, it's the same type of um, ingredients, or should I say a recipe? Yes, thank God I pronounced it correct. Woo woo! Yes! So, um, it's the same type of thing. However, it's different type of fish, okay? Because that word was so hard for me to pronounce. Okay, yes. So, um, you're going to need two eggs, all right? You're going to need two eggs. Oh, this thing's almost broken. Okay. So, two eggs. Let's not get the shells in there. Okay. Two eggs. I know the last, in the last um, video... Um, doing the kingfish, I only put um, one egg, but you can also put one or two. So, um, and then let's try to get the eggs marinating into the fish. All right. And then we're going to, I'm using some almond milk. You can use whole milk. You can also use um, evaporated milk. Oops. Evaporated milk as well. Evaporated milk as well. So you just need a little dab of milk in there. That's just so, um, all right. So I'm using the whole, um, almond milk. You can use whole milk. You can use the milk that comes in a can from the supermarket. So guys, we're gonna put this away. All right, let's put this away. And let's wash our hands. All right. Okay. Um. So. Let's make sure that our fire is not too high. Okay. Now, you're going to need a pot, a pan like this, to fry your um your fish in. So you can get a nice little skillet for like this. You can either get it from like a nice dollar store. I recommend going to Macy's. Um, so you're going to put your fire, oh boy, put your fire on a low medium heat. You don't want it to like burn the fish. All right? Okay. Now, because you are frying it, um, I don't recommend you using olive oil because olive oil is not made to fry away um, unless you're just doing like salmon or maybe some shrimp or something. This is not good for olive oil. So you get you some vegetable oil. You can use Crisco or um, there's many different brands, but I have some vegetable oil here. Or you can try peanut oil. Peanut oil is also good too. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put our oil in there. Okay. All right. You know guys, I went to the store earlier today and I the main thing I went to the store for was the oil and I forgot. Yeah, so that was the main thing. All right, so for our batter, guys, because you know for fish, when you're frying fish, you have to have like a nice little something for the browning. So um, I'm using cornmeal flour, guys. Now you can either get the fish fry, you can get the um, any any one of those from the store. However, I use the cornmeal flour um, don't use the white flour because that's not how you make fish. All right, let's turn turn down our rice. So we're gonna put the cornmeal flour in here. That's not how you make fish, guys. So let's put the cornmeal flour in here. So just a little bit, good enough for. Um, for, for that, and then put that to the side. Just add a little bit of um, adobo, of um, 
obey seasoning. Okay. All right. Just a little bit of obey seasoning. Um, let me get a fork. Okay. And then we're going to mix it around inside the bowl. All right. Okay. We want to make sure that our oil is hot. This time, guys, the pan is not filled with water, so it's good. So, um, the oil should be hot in no time. Let's try to wash this spoon to um, test our rice, okay? Let's see how it's coming out. Okay. The grains are so hard, we can add a little bit of water. All right. And just let it cook. All right. So let's see where our oil is. Okay. We don't remember, we don't want our fire too, um, too hot. So guys, how is everybody day going? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Are you guys ready for the holidays? Um, I will not be doing a, a cook with me on Saturday. My cook with me for Saturday will be for Tuesday, which will be for um, the holiday dinner, guys. So I will be doing a Christmas, a Christ, uh, Christmas dinner segment. Um, so I'll be making a roast, a chicken roast. So I will show you guys how to do that and maybe whatever else I add for Christmas. Um, I do have a requested video coming soon. That'll be sometime next year. Um, that'll be coming soon. So um, I do thank you guys so much for, let's see if this is ready. Um, commenting, liking, and subscribing to the channel. Okay guys, remember I told you guys to check and see if your oil is hot, you just sprinkle a little of batter, so the oil is good, okay? We can turn it up just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do our fish without bone, but that should be easy to cook. So you just put it in the, let me show you guys. All right, just move it around inside the, the batter a little bit right here. And then what you do is put it in here Dip it about a couple of times, sprinkle the cornmeal flour over it a couple of times, all right? And this is the, the steak type of um, fish, guys. Now, you can get the whole blue snapper, or you can have them fillet the fish for you if you don't want the tail, or if you don't want the head of the fish, okay? All right, you can have them fillet the fish for you, or you can have them just give you the fish whole as, as itself, okay? All right, so this one is fully there. Okay, so let's, let's put the bag on this one, so that, and then we're gonna put this one in the fire. So you wanna make sure that you have a nice, um, pot that can hold at least two pieces to make the job easier, guys. Because when you're cooking, you want to make it easy for you. Okay, guys? You want to make sure the cooking is easy for you. All right? When you're cooking. Okay, so it's bubbling. It's cooking over here. All right, so we're going to put this one in there. We're going to put this one in here. And I'm just going to show you guys real quick. That's how it looks. All right. Okay, so we're going to wait for that. Um... We're gonna let those cook, guys. We're gonna let our rice cook, our vegetables cook, and then we're gonna put these two in. By the time those come out and we put these in, 
we should be putting these in and then we'll be planning. So we'll be back. Okay guys, so we're back. Um so we're back. Um yes, okay. So we're back. So we're gonna take out our fish over here. As you guys can see nice and brown. We're gonna take out our fish. All right. Out of the fire here, you can also put it in another pan that you have. Okay. Now, if you would like to taste it, you can. To see how it comes out. Let me just bring this over. All right, so that's the piece right there. And your toilet is perfect. Oh, also we're going to turn off our... Oh, let me get up. I'll admit. We're going to turn off our, um, our vegetables. All right, so that is how it looks, guys. Okay. So let's cover that. Okay. Um. Now we're gonna do this other fish over here. So dip it. Make sure you dip it, and then. Put in your, your flour. Our rice is almost done, so we can turn off our rice and just let it simmer. Okay. So this hat is well coated. Well coated. Now we're going to put it in the oil. All right. Now for this one. Okay. All right. Cover this. We're going to need a lot of batter. So we're going to cover this. Make sure it's covered very well. And guys, you can find this kind of fish probably at your local fish market. At your local fish market, you can find them. You can't really find them in a grocery store. But you can find them at your local fish market. So let's put it in the oil. All right. Now we're going to let that cook for about 20 minutes per se um, on each side. Because you want it nice and brown, give it a nice texture. Okay. Really good. Um, you get you some hot sauce or some ketchup and you're good. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Get you some hot sauce, some ketchup, and you're good. All right. So we're going to let that portion of the fish cook. And then once it's done, we're going to come back, we're going to plate, and we're going to dig in, guys. Yes. All right, you guys. So we're back. Um, another trick um, that you guys can do when you see that your fish. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even have the other camera on. Okay, sorry, guys. We're back. I didn't have the other camera on. So another trick that you guys can do when you see that your fish is brown, you can um, you can turn off the fire and just let it cook while it's hot. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna try to get rid of all of this. Hold on one moment. Um, let's try to clean up our sink and put all of this over here for now. Um, and then we're going to plate, guys. We're going to plate. Okay? They're trying to clean up all of this mess. And then we're going to plate. 
All right. So. Twitter family, what's up YouTube family, what's up?